Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your week ahead for water signs, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. This was my singles reading. I used to do the singles segment, but as I was doing these readings, I kept seeing stuff for people, you know, couples, so I decided, you know, I'm just going to do a week ahead, and if it's for you, it's for you. If it's not, it's not. This is basically who's coming towards you. You know, who's coming towards you, that kind of energy. Um, could be the person you're dealing with right now, whatever. This is for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Week ahead, we'd say from the 13th to the 20th. But, you know, the timing is fluid. What do we got for these water signs? When they fall out, i got to take them. It's just the way it goes. <laughs> the hangman, of course. The Emperor reversed. The Three of Wands reversed. Ooh, Six of Swords reversed and the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Yay. Not. Um, I'll zoom that in in a minute. Somebody is going through a state of confusion, perhaps. They may be confused. They may be in a state of limbo because they're trying to figure out what the best path is. Path is this right here um, is trying to control a situation, you know, clinging to control. Um, there could be some manipulation here. Uh, somebody may, may be wasting their time on a situation. Reluctant to see a new approach, going backwards. <laughs> Damn! Damn! Oh my god. It's like, you know, your free will plays a part in destiny. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune is destiny, but it's free will and destiny. You have to spin that wheel, right? You have to. You have to, you have to take action, and somebody's not taking action. They're stuck. They're stuck. Um... There's anger here, too. Somebody may be angry that something isn't coming. Maybe you've been waiting for something to come, and it's just not coming. Somebody is not coming your direction that you thought was going to come in your direction. And you've been waiting for that. Waiting, waiting, waiting. You could be dealing with the Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person is very harsh. She's cutthroat. She, um, once her mind is made up, her mind is made up. Now this, now I got a comment yesterday. How come you don't read for men? Use your common sense. It doesn't mean I'm, just because I'm mentioning her, this is the card, this doesn't mean that it doesn't, you know, you figure it out. We have somebody here that has made a decision to protect themselves from being controlled, you know? That's why this person hasn't come forward. Oh, God. Ooh. -hoo. We have somebody that, and this just, these two just fell out too, so there we go. Wow. Holy moly. So, you know, the Five of Swords next to the Seven of Swords, I mean, that is not a pretty picture. It's not a pretty picture. <laughs> There's been some deception. There's been some sneaky, shady behavior, which has left somebody um, or made somebody completely walk away. Somebody has completely walked away because they can't win. They realize that they can't win and they're not going to take a new approach. It's like, I know this woman has made a decision. I know who I am. I know what I'm worth. And I would rather be alone than be controlled. So we have somebody here that has decided to stand in their own power and cut somebody out of their life because I'm not going to let you control me. I'm not going to let you dominate me. I'm not going to let you bring... Uh, chaos to my life and I feel like whoever is on the other side is not happy that 
another person is standing in their power. You know, um, whoever they're waiting for. Isn't coming. Okay, they're not coming. They're not coming. And they're not coming because they know better. <laughs> they do know better. This person um, does not want to cheat themselves anymore. I'm not going to lie to myself. I'm not. I'm not going to pretend that that this is meant to be. If you refuse to change, somebody is refusing to change. They're refusing to evolve, holding on to, you know, their old ways, holding on to their narcissistic or controlling tendencies. Okay. Somebody has been trying to escape accountability for their actions. And it's like, I see the situation a hundred percent clearly. And that's why I am not moving forward. So I really feel as though somebody is waiting in vain for another person to uh, make a move because whoever this person that they're waiting for to make a move is not going to make a move. This person um, is very, very egotistical. I'm sorry. This person is very, very egotistical. This person um, doesn't have the courage or the strength or the even any kind of ability to master their emotions to bring healing to a situation whoever you're waiting for they don't they they're not healing they're 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 holding a grudge they're stuck they're they're trying to prove themselves uh, so i feel like somebody is waiting for somebody to show up but this person is not balanced this person is unharmonious with who they are this person um, doesn't have the courage to tell the truth, you know? And I feel like we have this, this other person here who knows the truth, you know? So who's coming towards you? I think nobody's coming because, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel like there's anger and there's frustration because we have a huge power struggle here. It's like, you're going to come after me. No, I'm going to come after you or you're going to come after me. I'm not coming after you. That Both people. You know what I mean? I'm not. We have this huge, this huge power struggle with ego. Okay. It is. It's with ego. I mean, this is ego. This is ego. This is ego. We have a battle of the egos here, you know, and I feel as though perhaps now this person has decided to sever ties completely and the person on the other end is very upset and frustrated that they're not getting what they want. So... I feel like there's been a run of bad luck because somebody has been lying, somebody has been deceiving, somebody has been um, doing things behind the scenes thinking that they were getting away with it when in fact whoever the person they thought that they were they were tricking whoever the person is that they thought that they were proving a point to saw the situation absolutely clearly i hope that you can understand what i'm saying we have a we have a very weak individual here who is cowardly who tries to escape reality and refuses to change refuses to evolve, refuses to make any compromises. And it's only hindering their ability to have good things in their life. So I don't know who this reading is for, but I feel like somebody has made a decision to sever ties completely and stop wasting their time on 
an abusive individual. Well, there is definitely some abuse here. There's abusive. There's an abusive individual here. And I feel like this abusive individual is not happy that this other person has taken their power back. So this is supposed to be who's coming towards you. I, you know, I think that the, whoever you're waiting for isn't, you've been wasting your time on. There's no commitment. There's no happiness. There's no coming together with this person. There's no coming together with this person. This person may be with somebody else. They may be out having fun. They may be out, you know, They may be involved with another person, maybe even two other people. Um, I feel as though it's time for you to go out. It's time for you to have fun. It's time for you to celebrate. It's time for you to bring joy to your life. Maybe you start dating again. Maybe you start um, going out in your community. Maybe you start putting yourself out on social media for real because somebody is holding on there's no joke here somebody is holding on to somebody that isn't coming back whoever it is that they're holding on to is probably in a commitment with somebody else or doesn't want a commitment with them at all some it feels to me like somebody is trying to control and manipulate a situation through deception in some way. I think there's a big, huge lie here. I really do. Oh, God. Ten of Pentacles. Reversed. I think that somebody has, has lost a really, really, really big, abundant opportunity. There's no more stability and growth and abundance holding on to this troublesome situation. Somebody is holding on to a deceitful, controlling, manipulative, angry, frustrated individual who doesn't You know, there's no love in these cards. There isn't. There isn't. It's it's reluctant to move on, refusing to see, refusing to wake up. Um, it's time to let go of that old idea, that old thought that somebody, that whoever this is that you're waiting on is coming back. And I, I know I said who's coming towards you, but you know, I can't, I can't, whatever comes out, comes out. Somebody is holding on to a dead end situation and it's time to move on. It is. It's time to move on. It's time to master your emotions and move on from this situation. Take your power back for real. For real. Somebody is stuck on a commitment of the past and they're angry that whoever the person is that they're dealing with has made, the, made up their mind. This person has made up their mind that they're not coming back. It's time to put yourself out there. It is. It's time to put yourself out there and start having fun, start dating. You start celebrating this this newfound freedom that you've been given. So, you know, I really feel like somebody is not making the right judgment call by holding on to a dead end situation. I feel like there's there's been some sort of you know, move, you know, somebody there's been there's been, you know, maybe there's been some family feuds or there's been some sort of um, maybe even financial loss or there's been some sort of completion that has already happened could go so many ways and somebody is is just thinking there's going to be a reconciliation there's not there's not somebody needs to find the discipline and the willpower to 
wake up, please. You know, the Wheel of Fortune reversed. This is this is going backwards. It's, it's and again, it's stuck. It's clinging to control. It's it's wanting to control the outcome, wanting to control the situation. You know, it's it's not allowing destiny to play out. What is meant to be is meant to be. What isn't meant to be isn't meant to be. You can't control it. And and this is clinging to control. And this is clinging track to control as well. Somebody is trying to control. You know who. trying to control the entire situation, it doesn't work that way. It takes two to make a relationship work, not one. And it's like somebody's like, it's my way or the highway. Somebody is expecting a reunion when the fact of the matter is there is no reconciliation. This is a dead end. There's no more stability. There's no more growth. There's no more compatibility even. And it looks to me like the other person has made up their mind. They have decided to plant their seeds someplace else. They realize there's no more growth. Maybe it's you, water sign. Maybe it's you that has decided, my mind is made up. I am not going to be controlled by a situation that is going nowhere. But it may not be. It could be you holding on to a dead-end situation that needs to be let go of. Somebody needs to relocate. They need to plant their seeds someplace else. There's no more growth. They need to stop investing in a situation that is not going to lead to happiness and commitment. It's not. So I don't know who this reading is for, but somebody is lying. For sure. I mean, right? Somebody is absolutely lying. And they're 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 bringing conflict to their to themselves, to their mind, thoughts, I mean, swords are our thoughts, we have this five of swords, the seven of swords, the four of swords, I mean the six of swords, four, five, six, seven. Now, there's a progression here. It's, it's, the next one is the eight of swords, next, then the nine of swords, and then the ten of swords, letting it go. You have to let this go. Somebody is reluctant to move on from a dead-end situation. They've been deceiving themselves, thinking that there's going to be a change, that it's destiny, that it's fate. It's not. It's time to invest your time and energy someplace else. Stop letting yourself be confused over somebody who, like I said, there's no love in these cards. So water signs, I'm sorry to bring you this message, but it's time for you to go out and have fun. It's time for you to be more playful. It's time for you to wake up, stand in your power, make that final decision to go someplace else. There's no victory in success or triumph holding on to this non-committal person. There's probably another person involved. And that's why the stability and the security has slipped away.
Why would you stay in a troublesome situation that is keeping you stuck? You are stuck. Somebody, whether it's you or the cross watcher, is stuck in a troublesome situation just completely living a lie. You have a better opportunity waiting. You do. Something big. You have a new opportunity waiting if you could just see it. You got to walk down that path though. And you got to open your eyes to see it. You have the power to manifest something new, but you can't put a name on it. Remember that. Some of you are stuck. You absolutely are. And you're blocking happiness with somebody new. This is blocking happiness. Trying to prove something. Rest and rejuvenation. Maybe you need to take a break. Maybe you're going through a time of solitude right now because you're healing from a breakup. You're healing from being controlled. Angel of strength. You need to have strength. You need to have courage. You need to heal. You definitely need to go through a period of healing. Allow yourself to heal. From the conflicts that you have been involved in. Somebody has been involved in some serious power struggles with another person. There's been a lot of deception. There's been a lot of lies. There's been, a lot, there's been belittling. There's been um, a lot of what did I say? Or ego fights, you know? Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Like I said, a battle of the egos. It's, it's really time to heal. Stop holding on. Stop wasting your time. Whoever it is that somebody is holding on to, I think the mind is made up. And maybe that's you making your mind up. It's like this person sees the deception. They see the they see the lies. They see they see the lies, okay? This person doesn't know. He's looking in the other direction. He doesn't know that this person sees, but this person sees absolutely. Absolutely. Sees that this is is taking them backwards. Sees that this is going nowhere. Sees that this is a bad situation. So, I think somebody has decided it's time for me to go someplace else and get unstuck from this unhealthy situation. And somebody is finding the strength, hopefully, needing to find the strength, being given the strength from above to wake up and let go of this dead end. Somebody has been through a, a period, you know, a loss of self, holding on to... You know, that emperor reversed. I consider that a very controlling, manipulative, uh, angry, frustrated individual who really doesn't care who they hurt. The only thing they really care about is what everybody else thinks. That's a sad state of mind. It's time for you to wake up, water sign, and make the decision to f make the decision to find your strength, to take back your power. Don't deceive yourself for somebody who doesn't know how to love because there's no love in these cards. 
who's coming towards you this week, I'm going to be honest with you. doesn't look like there's any forward movement with the with the chariot reversed the six of swords reversed the three of wands reversed the judgment card reversed there's been so many many lies there's been so much deception there's been so many power struggles it's time to release it please it is Anyway, so who's coming towards you? I, you know, I don't feel like anybody's. I think in the future, yes, yes, something is going to, you're going to be given an opportunity. But it's not the one that you are hanging on to. You know what I'm saying? It's not. It's not. It's a new opportunity. You got a new opportunity on the outskirts of this whole mess. It's on the outskirts. It's not here. It's over here. But, you see, you've got to spin that wheel. You've got to spin the wheel. You have to take that step and stop deceiving yourself. Whoever that is, we're going to get one of these for you. Friendship. And this is friendship as well. Perseverance. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I sent my mind to. Perhaps you're missing an opportunity with somebody that is your friend. Because this is friendship as well. You may be missing an opportunity because you're holding on to the wrong one. Perseverance, I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. You have the strength to move forward to open your eyes, to make a firm decision to go someplace else. Let your friends help you. Maybe you need to let your friends help you if you're struggling. Somebody is absolutely struggling with letting go of a very hurtful individual. So anyway, who's coming towards you? Maybe a friend. You do have a better opportunity waiting, but that's not until you take that step and spin that wheel and don't keep going backwards. So I don't know who this reading is for, but you know, there's no love here. There isn't. Maybe there's friendship kind of love, but no love love. Good luck.